Hello everyone, my name is Chris Jones and I'm briefly going to show you here how to convert a bootstrap website into WordPress, at least how I did mine, and there's multiple ways you can do this. This is just one of the ways I found. First I'm going to show you um, bootstrap. Now I'm not spending a lot of time on this, most people know what bootstrap is. It's just a way to um, make your um, HTML code to do more for you and make it very easy to come out with a website. A very um, this, it's a framework that makes it so you very simply build a website very little time with regular HTML would take you know a while to do because um, it would take extra CSS and extra um, JavaScript uh, bootstrap already takes care of that for you it's also very mobile responsive it's known for how well and how easy it is to make it uh, mobile responsive and, and it just works all right so that's enough of that let's go look at my site my site's here um, so this is uh, christlinejones.com and this is my website and just to let you know this is a bootstrap site um, obviously put into WordPress but it is also not original which I'm completely fine with if people make websites that aren't completely original I mean uh, my idea, my website comes from this site here. This, you can see like uh, the borders like that, except there's a lot of differences. This is a circle image, a you know, square, but I, I got this bar item from him. It's just a lot of ideas like that. Um, you know, client, a good thing about doing this is like when a client wants a website, you usually can go and find a style that I like and stuff that you absolutely need changed or things that won't differ about it and this is just the best way to go in my opinion instead of building completely from scratch and there's a lot of differences this was only meant for one page I mean it wasn't meant to have multiple pages but my website of course is fluid and is meant for multiple multiple pages it's also um, and it's also a responsive site as well as you can see I could do this it's lock, kind of locked in here right now. Fully responsive. I will say that this. I almost want to pull this up in Firefox. Okay, it's working. Sometimes this WordPress bar makes it not responsive, but yeah, it's working pretty good. And so, and then mine has different things. See, he doesn't have. He just does these like um, common outs in JavaScript here. But I have actual little font icons this this is a font icon animation here okay so how did I get this done now what I did is I went to this site here and it is uh, there's a guy named Simon Padbury and he this is a uh, I will have this link in the li this link on um, in, in the comments of this YouTube here and um, so so you can go and see this uh, repository here what you do, you just download this, click here, and then when you have it done, see I already have it done obviously, but then you go to your WordPress and where you have themes, you put it in, you put it in here. This is this site. Now he does come with a child, now you can make your own child. I just took his child, why not? It's already done, voila. So this is his child site. I'll have this link listed below as well. So that's that's how you do it. So you basically bring in the thing. The theme's going to be blank. You're not going to open it up and see a lot of code. But if you already have a bootstrap site ready to go, I could take this right here, and this is all I need, and I can make the theme. I recommend using a, um, you know, an IDE to code your site. Um, I use Atom. There's a lot of IDEs. I'm not going to get in the debate of which IDE is better than the next. <laughs> I'm not going there. But I like Atom. It works good. I use... Um, a Linux computer and I mean I think it runs really smooth and you know I know Sublime Text is fine and there's a couple of, you know Vim that's fine too well that's it that's so that's in a nutshell that's how to convert a bootstrap website into WordPress